Welcome back to Films Recapped. Today I will show you an action and adventure movie from 2010, called The 18. Warning! Spoilers ahead. Watch out and enjoy. As the camera pans over the Mexican desert, sounds of a man being beaten can be heard. His captors are sure that no matter what they might put him through, he won't talk, and it would be better to just kill him. His jailers are two Mexican federal police officers that are also working for the rebel general Javier Tuco. John Hannibal Smith, the captured man, is able to get out of this situation and start to look for his friend Templeton Faceman Peck. Face is being held captive at the general's ranch for sleeping with the general's wife. Hannibal attempts to hijack a car that is being driven by a man named B.A. Baracus. The two end up bonding over their shared history of being former army rangers. With Baracus as his getaway driver, Hannibal saves his captive friend and his new lover just in the nick of time. They get away from Tuco's compound but are chased by his men. The former rangers stop at a nearby hospital to get patched up and talk to a patient there into flying them out of Mexico. The patient is a man called Howling Mad Murdoch. He may be a little crazy, but he's the best pilot around. They escape in an old medical helicopter and are quickly pursued by Tuco in a helicopter of his own. The ensuing firefight and Murdoch's reckless flying reveal that B.A. is scared of flying. The chase ends seconds after the two helicopters cross into American airspace and Tuco's aircraft is shot down by the American military for entering the country illegally, and Tuco and his men are killed. Fast forward eight years and the group has completed more than 80 missions together. They are stationed in Iraq and Hannibal is recruited by a member of the CIA Special Activities Division named Lynch. He gives the group an undercover assignment to recover $1 billion of counterfeit money along with the tools to make more. These materials are being held by Saddam Hussein loyalists and are set to be moved out of Baghdad in an armed convoy. Despite Hannibal's commanding officer supporting this mission, defense criminal investigative Captain Carissa Sosa, who also happens to be Face's ex-girlfriend, threatens to court-martial them if they take on this mission. They ignore her and go after the money plates anyway. They successfully complete the mission, but when they return to base, tragedy strikes. The vehicle holding their commanding officer, General Morrison, and all of the money they recovered is destroyed by members of the private security firm called Black Forest. With the general dead, there is no one to corroborate that the team was following orders and not acting on their own. Every member of the group is court-martialed and sentenced to 10 years in prison. Along with the A-team facing consequences, Sosa is also court-martialed and demoted to lieutenant since the money plates were a responsibility. Six months into their punishment, Lynch visits Hannibal in prison and tells him that Brock Pike, a leader of the Black Forest, may be attempting to sell the money plates with the help of an Arab broker. Hannibal has been tracking Pike on his own from prison and agrees to work with Lynch, his terms are simple, he and his team get clean records and full reinstatement in exchange for them getting the money plates. Lynch agrees to these terms and helps Hannibal escape, who in turn breaks face, B.A., and Murdoch out of their prisons in a series of dramatic moves. Finally reunited, his team steals a C-130 from the military psych ward that Murdoch was being held in. They are pursued by drones and their plane is shot down, however, they do manage to safely get out of the plane inside a tank with parachutes. Now out of military custody, the A-team makes their way to Frankfurt, where Pike was last seen. They make a move to intercept the plates while Pike and the Arab are transporting them and manage to kidnap Pike's backer. They assume that this is the Arab but learn that this isn't true. In reality, the backer is none other than General Morrison in disguise. He worked with Lynch and Pike to steal the money and graving plates, and then worked with Pike to double-cross Lynch. He arranged for his own death to be fake to pin the situation on Lynch. After discovering this, Hannibal calls Lynch and confronts him about what happened, he doesn't want to kill his old friend, even after learning about his betrayal. Lynch, though, orders that they return the plates and kill Morrison if they ever want to be free men again. Conflicted, Hannibal tells him that he'll need the promises Lynch has made in writing before he can commit to doing either of those things. Lynch then places the order for an airstrike to take out Morrison and the team. However, the team all manage to escape, though Morrison is not so lucky. Shaken by the discovery that their trusted commanding officer betrayed them, the rest of the team questions Hannibal. They want to know how long he knew Morrison was behind the plot and if he could ever do anything like that to them. Although Sosa took Pike into custody, Lynch goes over her head and takes him into his own custody. Hannibal and his team then call Sosa and tell her that they are alive, and they have the plates. They also lie and tell her that they have Morrison. She finds it hard to believe, but has no choice but to believe them. They arrange to meet up at the Los Angeles port in two days' time. Unbeknownst to either party, Lynch had a bug placed on Sosa's phone and hears this entire conversation. Shortly after this phone call, Face calls Sosa on a secret phone that he planted in her coat at their last meeting. They arrange a new plan that Lynch has no knowledge of. At the port of Los Angeles, nothing is going to plan, or so Lynch thinks. Sosa seemingly backs out of their deal, and then the A-team's real plan begins. 
Unfortunately, this plan is ruined when Pike blows a hole in the side of the container ship and nearly kills Face. This is the last straw for B.A., who converted to Buddhism in prison and took a vow of pacifism. Much to Face's delight, he confronts Pike and kills him. After the chaos of the explosion has mostly subsided, Hannibal leads Lynch into a freight container. There, Murdoch is disguised as Morrison and has a bulletproof helmet on. He shoots who he believes to be Morrison, and then admits that he stole the engraving plates. It is then revealed that Sosa and a team of officers were waiting just outside the container and heard everything. To thank her for her part in all of this, Sosa is reinstated at her previous rank. Lynch is arrested, and so, unfortunately, is the A-Team. Despite proving that they were innocent of stealing the plates, they are still technically wanted men for escaping prison. This obviously angers both them and Sosa, especially because they are arrested just so Sosa's boss doesn't have to fill out the paperwork for their release. Before his is escorted into the prison transport, Sosa promises Face that she'll work to get them freed and then kisses him deeply. Once they are all in the van, the A-Team is bummed at this turn of events, but Hannibal reassures them. He tells them that there is always a way out of every situation. The camera then pans to Face who just smiles, opens his mouth, and reveals a handcuff key that Sosa gave him during their kiss. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.